everybody, welcome back to Hotel Ten Tech. I'm your host, Corey, here, and today I want to bring you a video having a conversation about the new iOS 15 and the new FaceTime features that are coming to iOS 15. I think this is probably one of my favorite parts of iOS 15, so I'm gonna give you a quick rundown of everything you can be expecting to see, as well as my new favorite feature in iOS 15 surrounding FaceTime, all right? So let's just hop right into it. Let's go. All right, so first up, let's talk about what I think is probably one of the most practical and what I think is probably going to be a really good feature coming. So one of the new features is surrounding the audio preferences and video preferences that you'll see in FaceTime. So these preferences will allow you to change some things surrounding the video and audio. And as far as the audio goes, you will be able now to, to isolate your voice. So the microphone will be able to block out all the background noise and only focus on your voice. So this would be great when you're in noise situations and still trying to have a FaceTime call. Um, the microphone should be able to pick up your voice and your voice only. There's also going to be a new sound stage where it's picking up everything. I don't know how useful this one will be, but if you're at a concert or something like that or trying to show somebody something or they're trying to listen to something as well, uh, this could come in handy. Now with the video preference settings, I think one of the best ones is going to be the fact that you can now blur out your background. So the camera will only focus on you and everything else in the background will be blurred out. I think that's going to be great for a lot of people who have maybe some messy backgrounds or, you know, you want the person you're talking to to only focus on what you're saying and look at you. So I think that'll be great. Next up, one of my favorite features is the fact that you can now share your screen. And this has been a long time coming for a lot of people. I know for me, when I'm trying to explain things to people, uh, it's a lot easier just for, hey, let me call you real quick, let me share my screen and show you how to fix this on your phone. I get questions all the time about how to fix stuff. And I know a lot of you all do too. So this will help you when you're trying to tell your grandparents how to get out of the app or how to change settings or whatever the case may be. Now in FaceTime, you can share your screen, they can share their screen with you. You can show them how to get stuff done on the phone. Uh, yeah, that's gonna be man, that's gonna be great. Thank, thank you, Apple, for that one. That's I'm so excited. Next up, you're gonna also be able to share content now through FaceTime. And what I mean by that is you're gonna be able to watch Netflix together, watch Disney Plus, watch HBO Max. You'll be able to watch TV shows together real time in FaceTime with you know two or three, four people, um, and you'll be able to have you know the conversation if you want face to face or you can text you know, back and forth. You can do a lot of different things, but you can watch the same shows at the same time. And I think these features that are coming are helping uh, people who have been stuck at home for a while be able to still have that face-to-face -face interaction with people. And I think that's just amazing. Now, I feel like a few, a few of these features are a little bit late in my opinion, but you know, better late than never. I think these features are still gonna help us out in the future. Well, you know, you still want to have that face-to-face -face contact with people. So kudos to Apple for those. Now, let's just hop right into it. My favorite feature, my favorite feature, you know, what I'm so happy and so excited that Apple finally did, because this is going to fix a lot of pain points in my life, my family's life, and I think a lot of you all's lives out there. That feature is FaceTime is finally coming to Android with a little caveat here. So yes, you will be able to take faith, you will be able to participate in FaceTime calls from your Android phones and Windows computers via a link that a iOS person sends you to access it. So you'll click on a link, it'll open up FaceTime in your browser and you'll be able to have a FaceTime call. Now, I can't tell you how excited I'm about this because I am a person, I live in a different city than most of my family and every year at Christmas or every year at Thanksgiving, and if I'm not there for some reason, they're like, hey, let's FaceTime, I want you to see everybody. I'm like, oh, well, I can't, you know, do you have this app? And like, no, I don't have an app. And then I'm like, okay, download the app. And like, oh, I don't have any storage on my phone. And I'm like, okay, well, it's a whole lot. It's a whole lot. So thank you, Apple, for making people's who, people who are not on Android lives easier and also making people who are on iOS easier system. So now my little cousin can send me a link. I can access a link and I can talk to the whole family from my Android phone. So just super excited about this. Now, I don't know if you're gonna get all of these fe same features I, I, I announced earlier um, with this link. Uh, I think it's just gonna be pretty basic. You'll be able to access the link, have a conversation, and that's it. You won't get to do the screen sharing or the, um, you know, sharing the content or the verb black 
blurred, blurred, I cannot say that word today, blurred background or any of that kind of stuff. But I do think this is a step in the right direction. I think that now that we have FaceTime on Android, uh, this is just cool. This is cool. I'm so excited about this. So, um, but that's been a quick rundown of everything. Uh, let me point this out real quick. If you mentioned it in this video, I just want to point this out. Who has this Android phone that Apple had in this keynote? I just want to know. This has to be an Android phone from like 2015, 2016. I don't know anybody's parents, anybody that has this iPhone with these big old bezels. It's just hilarious. But you know, Apple had to poke fun somewhere at Android, so this is where they did it. I'm not mad at it. But uh, yeah, thank you for watching. Share this video with your friends and family so they know everything that's coming to FaceTime. I'm sure they're excited to hear about these features as well. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like this video, do all that, you know, fun stuff that you all are told to do, I guess. But anyways, thank you so much for watching. Once again, this is Corey from King Tech, and I will catch you all on the next one, all right? Peace out.